The similarities between my time at Woodford House and the time on the netball court are striking. <laughs> Both have opened doors to opportunities I never expected and experiences I'll never forget. Of course, there have been challenges, obstacles and setbacks, but they've given me perspective and motivated me to do better than before. The blood, sweat and tears have made every success that little bit sweeter, both on and off the court. While I've spent approximately 2,821,398 minutes at Woodford House, only 5,800 of them have been on the netball court. That's not even 0.2% of my time here. However, over 23,000 minutes have been spent at practices, way too long at strength and conditioning, another 16,000 umpiring and at least 8,000 coaching. Altogether, that's 1.8%. And while that may seem insignificant, the lessons Netball and Woodford have taught me are much more than numbers can, can tell. 2018 has been the year of pledges. As a school, we became home to excellence. Mrs Peterson set the standard she wants to see. Bridget's been bold, and Miss Russell put the WH in whānau. Both on and off the Netball court, I found my grit. Grit is being committed and relentless in achieving our goals and being able to laugh at ourselves. It's knowing that we're only as good as how we handle the setbacks and that there will be many. Grit is having the passion and perseverance to continue when you could simply give up. If you've ever watched me play a game of netball, you know that I spend just as much time on the ground as I do on my feet. I fall over often, gracefully of course, but in, but in netball and in life, it's getting back up that's the most important part. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, Michael Scott. And while that may have been detrimental to my shooting statistics, sorry Briar and Lisa, it's led to some pretty amazing opportunities off the court. I've run a half marathon, been on exchanges, camps, even a schoology trip. I still remember the similarities between the Westpac Stadium and the Coliseum <laughs> and the moves from my Year 7 house music. I've worked, travelled and trained with the most influential netballers in the world, but more importantly, the students won the highly anticipated Star First Student Netball game. It's all about the team, and the Woodford team is the best I've been a part of. From the contagious laughter of the Year 7s to the Year 8s ready for high school, the Year 9s stressing about exams and the Year 10s who rule the junior school, the Year 11s learning about NCEA and the Year 12s ready for their final year, and the Year 13s who, whether they admit it or not, will probably be a little sad as they walk, run or crouch out the door today. <laughs> Every single one of you has played your part. Whether you scored the winning goal, got the most amazing intercept, or cheered on from the sidelines, thank you to all 326 of you. In the last seven years, I've been in approximately 24 sports teams, but only one choir for only one week. <laughs> Fair to say that while choir wasn't my thing, netball certainly was, and the endless hours I've spent with my team on court, often looking more like this, definitely paid off when it came to this. I think Tessa yelling, here if you need, from the circle edge, at least a hundred times a game, epitomises the team spirit that we have. As Ed Sheeran said, success is nothing if you have no one there left to share it with. And the weekly net fit trainings, long van rides, and incredible talent show performances have allowed us to succeed on court in what was our best year yet to a team of another sort, the Prefect team. It's been a massive year, and your collective support, creativity and dedication has exceeded all expectations. You've challenged my thinking and kept me grounded, but, but all your hard work has what, is what has made this year such a success. To the levers of 2018, I don't think Woodford quite knew what to expect when we became the biggest year group the school has ever seen. To the 14 who began in Year 7, and the 40 who have joined since. 
Thank you for your passion and energy. It has definitely kept me on my toes. While I'm not as tall as Maggie, as fast as Molly, as loud as Maddie, don't have as many goats as Ava, or able to deadlift as much as Lucy Roberts, <laughs> our collective talents have made us an incredibly tight-knit group. Whether you go on to become the next Silver Fern or the star of the social team, I'll always be cheering for you. Bridget, you're the real MVP. From the first pass to the final whistle, you've had some crazy ideas, supported mine and always had my back. We've definitely rubbed off on each other. I'm nowhere near as stressed as I would have been without you. And you're a little more organised and sometimes even turn up on time. <laughs> You've worked unbelievably hard to get back on the netball court this year and even harder for this whole school to make sure everyone is sparking it up. To one of my favourite teams of the school, the senior leadership team, captained by Mrs Peterson, your humour, hard work and passion is inspiring. 2018 has been full of challenges and surprises, but your weekly quotes, love of cashmere cardigans and <laughs> ever-changing nail colour never fails to amaze me. To the new recruits, Mr Dine and Mrs Roberts, thank you for bringing a fresh perspective and wealth of experience and talent to the team. Mrs Russell, we all know the half-time oranges are what gets us through the game, and I'm not sure if I'd be here today without your endless cups of tea and chocolate biscuits. The hours I've spent in your office planning tactics devising, and devising a game plan have been the best. Your expert pom-pom waving and commitment to the cause has allowed so many of us to succeed. What will I do without you? Everybody has a home team. They're the people you tell the best news and the worst. Whether they're near or far, you know they're always there. They're the ones you call when your car breaks down, even when they're three hours away. They're your middle of the night, no matter what people. Mum and Dad, thank you. Both Woodford and Neville who have shaped who I am, what I am, and why I am. It's every second on the clock, game day or any day. Any day. As the buzzer sounds for the end of 2018, don't let a win get to your head or a loss to your heart. I'll leave you with the words of Mia Hamm. Somewhere behind the athlete you've become, the hours of practice, the coaches that have pushed you is a little girl who fell in love with the game and never looked back. Play for her. Thank you.